which is my general modus operandi. Hey y'all, it's Lindsay, and today I'm gonna attempt to make caramel corn trim healthy mama friendly. My friend Stacy over at Stacy's Mummy Magic did a video, um, a few videos back, where she made caramel corn from scratch, and it looked so good, and I thought, there's gotta be a way to make it Trim Healthy Mama friendly. Of course there is. <laughs> it's just gonna have to be a crossover, which is totally fine for me since I'm a nursing mama, and as a Trim Healthy Mama, we can definitely do crossovers as treats every now and again. They're probably not ideal to do very often when you're in weight loss mode, but if you're at maintain mode, then it's totally acceptable to have crossovers. So I went online to Pinterest naturally and checked out various recipes for doing a caramel corn trim healthy mama friendly way and I decided ultimately that I'm just kind of going to wing it. I am going to use my air popper here to pop some popcorn. And I've got my oven over here preheating to 250 degrees. So I'm actually gonna use the caramel sauce from Brooks Five Minute Caramel Sauce. This recipe is on Nana's Little Kitchen. I used this caramel sauce recipe on my pseudo Twix bars. And I think this recipe is fantastic. Um, it's a tread and true for us. I'm gonna follow Brooks caramel sauce recipe to the letter. I'm not gonna add any extra xanthan gum to it because I want it to be very liquidy and pourable so that I can coat all of the popcorn kernels once they are popped. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and double this caramel sauce recipe to ensure that I have plenty of caramel to coat all of the popcorn. Uh, word to the wise, make sure you use a large enough container. Oh my goodness. We're struggling today, y'all. My caramel sauce failed in the microwave, so I cleaned up the mess and put it in here in my stovetop pan here, and it is bubbling away, looking like some serious caramel sauce perfection. Of course, you couldn't see that. It was all blown out. Anyway, I did go ahead and put the xanthan gum in there the way that um, Brooks note states at the end of the recipe. I only did the one quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum for the one recipe, so it wound up being a total of a half teaspoon. And I'm going to actually take my immersion blender and blend this up to make sure that I got all of the xanthan gum totally incorporated into this caramel sauce. So I've got my caramel corn all mixed together and I went ahead and had to pop some extra popcorn because my girls decided they wanted popcorn for a snack right now. So Stacy says to cover this with some foil and then pop it into your oven at 250 degrees for one hour. And she said that she stirred it about every 15 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm ready to stir this caramel corn for my second time. This has been in here for about uh, half an hour. Give it a little stir and it kind of has shrunk down and I think that if I make this again this way, I'm gonna only do um, the full, um, just a single recipe of the caramel sauce because I feel like this 
is way more caramel sauce than what the popcorn can handle. You know what I might do? I might just go ahead and pop some extra popcorn. I bet I could do that and get it mixed in quickly. We'll see what happens. My caramel corn appears to be done. It's looking a lot whiter on camera than it does in real life. And I'm holding a baby, so I'm a little bit wobbly here. But I think I've learned a few things about trying to make this a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. All right, so this caramel corn just came out of the oven. Mm. And the flavor is spot on. It's fantastic flavor. I think that next time that I make this, I'm going to not do any xanthan gum in the caramel sauce recipe at all. I think that was kind of a hindrance. And I also think that having a double batch of the caramel sauce was a hindrance as well. So I've got some pieces that are more well coated and other or like and to the point of being soggy. And then the other pieces that I added in later, um, they are barely coated. They have a good flavor just not as much caramel candy on it. And um, we will see how this goes. I wanna see how it tastes once it's cooled down. I think the biggest thing with making caramel corn is getting the texture right. It's almost like you gotta eat some of the over, over carameled along with an under carameled piece to make sure that you get the right ratio. But I really like the flavor. So this caramel corn recipe, it tastes really good, but I think there are a few things that I'm going to change the next time that I make this or play around with this. I'm not going to double the caramel sauce recipe the next time that I make this, and I'm not going to put the xanthan gum into the caramel sauce, just because I think that while that makes it a really good thick caramel sauce for things like those pseudo Twix bars, it makes it a lot more difficult to get an even distribution on the popcorn itself. And I think doubling the caramel sauce recipe created a problem to where my popcorn was too wet. So I added in more popcorn halfway through to see if I could sort of distribute that caramel a little bit more evenly and it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So I've got some pieces that are really soggy and some pieces that are more dry and the more dry pieces don't have as much flavor as the caramel pieces that are wet. But together, if you eat a soggy piece plus a non-soggy piece, it's got pretty awesome flavor. And I think this is a recipe that I will continue to workshop. And I have a sleepy baby here who's chowing on my hair. <laughs> who's a funny girl? Yeah. So anyway, I thank you so much for coming along on this little uh, workshop adventure, trying to make caramel corn trim healthy mama style. I will keep playing with it and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye.